Now see peaches. Now see peaches. Bing got a bum. Still got a bum. Keep a bum. Still got a bum. Go. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Now see y'all. See. Now all these people from the peach patch has been coming over here trying to tell us you should feel bad for peach. You shouldn't be talking about peach. Peach is going through something. Peach has lost it. She's heartbroken. She's this. She's that. But then guess what? Peach wakes up today and yesterday and has a whole new storyline. Now she's back in love. Now she wants to be with daddy. Now y'all better stop talking about Peach. Do you hear me? Don't bring it up. Don't act like she said it. Y'all better close your eyes. Y'all better act like y'all never knew anything she said existed. Act as though there was no evidence that she, she meant a Peach, uh-huh, Dropped out here on her own husband. She woke up in a mood today that no one could predict. It kind of reminds me of, you remember when she woke up and she said, I don't want y'all as my friends. I don't need no friends. I got my daddy. I don't want y'all to pray for me. Save your prayers. Uh-huh. Kind of was like that. That's how. That's the mood she woke up in today because of what? Because of what? Maybe he laid with her. Maybe he came home a little bit earlier than he was supposed to. However it went, let's take a look, okay? So she is now out here and she said this. Pretty much she's saying the worst part about social media is that you can post how you feel one day. And if it's not that way, the next day people are still going to bring it up. She tells everybody to leave her the F alone with the big old middle finger. We know, Peach, that you know about that middle finger, right? Because that's what daddy gives you all the time. So now she's telling everybody, you know what? Y'all are nosy. I can say what I want to say on social media, but the next day when I'm in a good mood, don't bring it up to me. Don't. And then she tells you guys again, don't reach out to her. She's fine. Don't Y'all don't got to pray for her. Y'all don't got to worry about her. Y'all act like this is my space. People acting. It, it, it's so crazy. What she said in this community post is so freaking crazy. It shows her mindset. But y'all, this one also took me out, right? She gonna put on hair naturally pretty and the soul matches. And she ain't got on no eyelashes or nothing. Then two seconds later, it's a small thing to a giant. And she done went and got those eyelash slash tarantula uh -huh, legs put back on her face. Uh-huh. So this right here, if you do not know, this right here, this right here should tell everybody that this girl has fully lost it. She likes the situation that she is in because let's uh, let, let, now we're going to slow it down for those in the back. Because now the other day, didn't Peach make a short saying, I'm not going to go out here and put on makeup. I'm not going to put on a wig. I'm not going to put on eyelashes. I'm not going to go get my nails done. I'm not doing any of that because when I did do it, he still cheated on me. Didn't she say that? But what took me out is when she now has been doing, you don't need makeup. Put on lip gloss. Take it up 10 notches. Take it up 10 notches by just putting on lip gloss. I'm going to be naturally me. I'm going to be naturally beautiful. Then not even an hour or two later, then what does she do? She gets on here with her big bag, big bank hat. She's got her eyelashes done. She's uh, saying in uh, the you know shorts and stuff that she's going to get her nails done. She's obviously got makeup on. So who are you trying to please now? Because you claim you didn't do all that because you're worried about natural beauty and you only want to please yourself. That's what you got on here and told us. Oh, man. Daddy is giving way too much attention to whoever it is on the side. Because let me tell you something. You can already tell when daddy is just not ready to be involved. When she put that short up a baby, baby, uh-huh, you know, tapping on daddy. Couldn't y'all see the disgust in his face? He's like, God, she's filming me. This baby's acting crazy. I'm ready to get up out of here. And he obviously flew the coop and he was gone all night, all day with some other woman when he finally returned or wherever he was at, we'll just say allegedly with another woman because that's what's out here on the streets. When he finally returned, Peach laid all day in the bed, rolling around, making shorts about how sad she was. And um, I'm back with my ex-boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, all this other stuff. That girl laid in the bed, rolling around, doing shorts all day long, eating, chomping and everything else. Okay. You got on here and you made a whole video of three reasons of why you wanted to be with him. Now, I'm going to say this really quick, and this ain't really got nothing to do with me, but anybody that knows me knows that I was in a relationship for 15 years. And I will say this. 
I will say this. Uh-huh, my son's father I met at 19. He was 32. I'm 36. Y'all do the math. It is what it is. I understand that when you grow up with someone, because that's what her and Wood did. They grew up together. When you grow up with someone, you don't want that out of your life. But at some time, you have to take a stand for yourself and say, this is not worth it. And like I said, sometimes building a friendship with someone can be better than being in love with them because it takes all the googly eyes away. But Peach, you got some nerve. Uh, Y'all, I'm sorry. I got to do a mini read. This woman has some nerve. Let me tell you something, Peach. It's your channel. You can put out whatever it is that you want to put out. But you got some damn nerve that you sit over here having mental breakdowns. And you sit over here playing Aretha Franklin. Then you go to Brandy. Then you go to Luther Vandross. Then you're uh, playing Ashanti and everything else. And you want people to feel sad for you. You want people to feel your pain. You want to be, as you said, you're not a victim. You're an overcomer and you're a survivor. You want people to feel your pain and to sympathize with the things you're going through. And then when they reach out to you in your inbox or they make a comment and they say, girl, I've been there. I've done that. How are you doing today? You put up a picture. And all she did was she put up a picture saying that she was trying to be beautifully and naturally her. And people under the picture was like, girl, I'm happy to see that you're up. I'm happy to see you're in the car, that you're moving. You're in a better mood. Girl, you go, girl. You know. People are saying, well, you know, you were down yesterday, so we're happy that you're up today. And then you get up here and you make a whole community post telling them y'all pretty much need to shut up. Or, well, in her own words, instead of using the shut up, she gave y'all the, she flipped y'all the bird. She doesn't want people reaching out to her. She doesn't want people praying for her. She doesn't want anyone's advice. She wants to sit up there and be in love with Willie Lump Lump while he's humping and dumping all around town. So therefore, I'm going to let you be that. That's what people fail to realize. Let her be that. Let her be the fool. Let's keep reacting on her. Let's keep laughing at her. She is obviously tarnishing her brand. She is tarnishing her brand. And I, y'all, y'all know subscriber counts are going to be out. It's something that Peach does not want to happen. I do believe she's made enough shorts about it. I don't want think that she wants subscriber counts to go, you know, out there and be out there. Because I think hers goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Her sub count probably goes up and down just like her attitude. Y'all, I'm telling y'all now, y'all better leave Peaches alone. Been got a bum, still got a bum. Keep a bum. Yes, y'all. Y'all heard me. I'm going to see y'all in the comments. And Peach, this bird is for you. Flip it, dip it, sit on it, and rotate. Y'all, I'll see y'all later.